Welcome to another ICC Blitz Banter Kings Crusher show. Uh, so this is Friday, 9 p.m. And uh, got to mute there. Okay, I've uh, got a challenge here. Three two from Trent David to kick things off. He's an early bird a lot of the time, and not to be underestimated. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, okay. Actually, my head's a bit cut off. Let's put my head down. <laughs> okay, uh, let's play G6. fast paced at the moment. I'm wondering about B5, B4. Mm, this looks, it could be quite dangerous. This could be quite a dangerous attack, potentially. <clears throat> uh, scary. So I, I don't like this position too much, but I'm hoping it's it's safe enough uh, for the moment. For the moment. Can I play e6? It's a bit of a concern. You know, things like H4. Do I play H5? Yeah, it's very dangerous. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I take with the E pawn. Um, I'm wondering about b4 later. It opens up my bishop actually, so I'm hoping, yeah, this this way might might be okay. Uh, now the attack comes. I've got a lockdown on h5. It looks far too scary. Okay, the attack comes. Yes. Okay. Uh, bishop g4 and b4. At some point, <clears throat> oh, there's a question on the stream. How long do you spend analyzing a game to give you, especially while I didn't play? Quite some time, actually. I, I like to make sure I, I get a good grip uh, on things. Um, okay. Alright, that F7 is going to be. Oh, it's going to. It's looking. Oh, I've got to find something here. I wonder if I take and then Queen F6. I'm hoping if I get the Queens off, just to make sure my King's not endangered species. Because F7 was attacked there. My knight on b8 holds c6, but I'm wondering if I get a chance to. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Is b4 any good? I find this all a bit scary at the moment. Can I play c5? Just try and undermine the knight. If I take. I'm hoping this is good for me because the knights seemingly uh, are slightly loose. <clears throat> mm. Hope this is okay. Right, and 
Okay. Well, I'll try and hold that. And let's go for a counter attack or not. Um, Mm. Again, I'm still not convinced by anything. Mm. Rook F3 could be scary. I'm so I'm, I'm taking on on G4 at the moment. Can I actually? Can I prop that just to try and yeah push the rook back? So Rook F3, I'll I'll take on uh, D4. Uh, well, that was the plan. I'm hoping it's playable. Uh, it was the plan. Okay, uh, if we just try and ask for the queens to come off, I think I might have bishop e2 coming up. <clears throat> okay, is bishop e2 playable or has he got anything here? Uh, he's got rookie three. Uh, I'll play it anyway, I think. Because I'm wondering Queen F4, Queen F4, G3. In fact, there's Rookie 3 there. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe not. Uh, have I gone into a self pin? Okay, <laughs> let's stop Rookie 3 for a moment. Okay, it's on F7. That's scary. And can I do this? Just hold the rooks. Right. Queen F6, I don't think, is too devastating. Famous Check. last words. Uh. Yes, this looks good. Queen e1, maybe even queen c3 of b3. Okay, thanks, Train David. Difficult. Uh, unrated blitz. Actually, it's not rating. Let's do this Metanov. This is a five minute game. There's Metanov 1, 2, 3. Is he ready? Uh, yep. Try a Vienna game, I think. Ah, all right. I might take this actually. This is like reverse King's Gambit, which I have played in over the board. Uh, this line, um, maybe it's a bit more accelerated for my plan, which was was to put a lot of pressure on on the light squares possible try and put a lot of pressure on the light squares so h3 d3 knight here knight here anytime any d4 the knight swings here I'm, it's like a reverse king's gambit plan you know a tempo up i'm hoping it'll be like that anyway i don't want to give too much counterplay i don't want to afford um i don't want to give black any potential uh peace sacrifice uh to open up like an f file I want to keep things like stable uh, for the most part. Uh, so I think you know d4 knight e4. I want to play knight g3 and feel a bit comfortable. Hopefully, feel a bit comfortable with the possession because now d4 there's knight c e4. And that's nice because I I think that's nice. Okay, can I play d4 here? Because I want to, yeah, I think taking out that spearhead pawn might be, uh, well, hopefully is, is a good idea. <clears throat> okay. Oh, have I given a bit of counterplay? Uh, maybe the queen should go back, actually. Maybe the queen should go back. 
I don't want the peace sack on g4 particularly um, Hmm, intriguing. Uh, it looks as though there might be something scary here. I, I hope there isn't. I hope there isn't a peace sack. Um, Bishop f4 might be playing, you know, knight f3. I'm taking that. Um, yeah, I've, I'm hoping this is this is okay. Bishop f4. So yeah I mean simply I mean Queen e2 next and rook e1 uh, unless I'm just unless I'm not missing I'm miss, am I missing something here this this looks like a nice pin if you can get a nice pin like this gen, generally that's that's nice to pin pin and win uh, so Queen e2 and rook e1 coming up maybe Hmm, any else anything else to sort of uh, think about here Queen e2 and rook e1 um, all right all right uh, as mentioned I think or alternatively there's g5 this is if the knight moves knight d5 queen d5 oh there's knight f7 He's protecting that bishop, but the principal might hold after rookie one bishop d6 g5, knight moves back knight d5 cd queen d5. Yeah, I I think um, well, any bishop f2 sack? I don't think so. I might have bishop e3 as knight g4. My queen's holding g4 at the moment, so possibly bishop f2 possibly isn't. Too dangerous, although. Yeah, I'm just checking. All right, let's go for it. <clears throat> and this is going to go on a sacrificial rampage here, where Bishop F2, King takes, Queen C5. Well, anyway, he hasn't. So knight d5. There's gonna be queen d5 check after knight can't move back. Queen f7. There's bishop e5. I think this is good. I think this is good. It puts more pressure on e5. I mean, e5 is slightly vulnerable here. Uh, hoping this is good. Mm -hmm. Queen e5. So if knight f7, I take the queen. Queen f7, I take the, bit, the knight. Uh, it looks looks pretty good so far. A lot of pressure here on e5. I hope. Hmm. If Queen D6, let's imagine yeah, it's a bit of a defeat this move. I don't think I have to worry too much about Queen D6. All right. Okay. Oh, it's threatening Queen G3 at the end of this. Oh, nice. Could I take with the Rook to get two pieces there and hold G3? That is one way of playing it. I think I will play it like that. Just to hold g3 at the end of this because queen d5 there's always taking the bishop after so cd queen d5 i'm taking the bishop after holding the knight here okay let's carry on i think holding the knight for a moment longer wouldn't have thought there's a major sack because there's not that many pieces in the vicinity um okay 
there is that move. Yes. There is that move. Hmm. Queen d2, bishop d5. There's always queen g3. Can I subtly try and win the queen with bishop g5 in some other uh, way here? Or not? B4. There's a lot of pieces. If I just play B4, Bishop B6, Knight B6, Rook D1, Rook D1, uh, AB. Hmm. Don't want to do anything too speculative. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, think about this for a few more seconds here. Um, it's an inconvenience. Oh, uh, can I just play c4 and say, look, okay, be the exchange up or whatever. I, I'm just going to play c4. It's a strong pawn in the center. I think there's a few problems for black just simply after this. To resolve. Ah, All right. This is getting very tactical. See the idea, Queen F2. I'm not sure that's mating. So I'm, I'm going to call the bluff on that. Uh, although this is starting to look a little bit scary, but it's only Bishop and Queen. I say famous last words. It's only Bishop and Queen at the moment. Possibly, I you know, CD Queen F three. I don't know exactly what the big deal would be. I'm not getting mated on G one just yet. <laughs> okay, let's coordinate a bit more. Okay. okay, can I take on B7? Is it worth it? Maybe, maybe it is. Drop the bishop back to E4 to cover this C pawn. Ah, ah, queen. Okay. Uh, Actually, the queen was protecting g7. It's good I didn't take on g7 just then, otherwise, that would be uh, silly. Okay. <clears throat> well, thanks to the game, that all we've got a few challenges here. Uh, difficult. Uh, no racing, though. C sets. Maybe I should play people with ratings at the moment. C sets. Hello. 1484 and quite a few challenges yeah uh just doing one challenge per person like last week i think is a good good uh idea just one challenge per person to try and get a few a bit more variety in the stream uh i wonder if i can risk I, i'll play a, a benko gambit i think We'll try to. Hmm. Hold C five for a moment there. Can I? Uh, I'm thinking about opening up the center. 
But mind you, this is probably pretty standard. I mean, probably. It's probably more typical to do this. I can take with the knight. <clears throat> so, a little bit of pressure, I hope. Queen, maybe queen a5 or queen b6, and then rook b8. Uh, yeah, hoping for some possibilities like on b2 soon, like rook b8, knight c4, what would he do, b3, does it actually achieve anything, that's, that's a big question, does it achieve anything, does knight b4 actually do anything, I mean, yeah okay do i need to use my rooks in a slightly more aggressive way here got him thinking anyway from it <clears throat> maybe c4 I'm thinking c4. I know that might be crazy, but I like the idea of getting a knight into d3. It's vulnerable, but knight b4 to d3 is tempting. I know knight d4 is not possible at the moment. Otherwise, that knight would like to get into c6. So, uh, so yeah, does he does he let me get a knight to d3? That's the thing. I'll go this way. Try and get a knight into d3. As regards to B3, I'm not sure. sure. Uh, knight D3 or Knight B3? I think Knight D3 is mentioned. It will cut off that D4 square. If White wants to play Rook D1, any Rook to D1 for Knight D4 to C6, be uh, disconnecting. Uh, it's prone to being undermined, but it will take time if I'm hitting the Bishop. So I think knight d3 looks an attractive knight. I'll go for that. He could take on b6, I suppose. I'm hitting the rook. If he takes, can I actually take here? That's interesting. Right. Uh, oh, this is a bit double edged, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's get the knights maybe protecting each other. I think B3 is the problem. We're we undermining my knight soon. Yes. This might not be entirely uh, clever. B3. What about Queen A5? So BC, there'll be. Uh, Queen takes C3. Okay, I'll give him a pass pawn instead if he plays B4, but it keeps the knight a bit longer. So hitting that c3, well it's something, but this b4, hmm. <clears throat> and if I drop back for a moment, he has got knight d4 to c6, this could be bad potentially could be uh, I like the knight still I wonder if I can do anything with that knight hmm. I'll hold c6 if f4 I think knight g4 right and whoa okay let's see is there anything cooking here f596 let's play i think i will play for oh f4 yeah that's dangerous there you know what i'm going to do an exchange sec i'm going to let him win the exchange because i'm thinking 
uh, well I thought there was some possibilities there which were interesting um, it might not be the case you will find out I'm hoping this is interesting wonder if I can like undermine the center with uh, Bishop c3 Queen d5 for example or just taking here just to reinforce uh, I have to protect this I think I want to like take here to take my dark squares would be terribly weak if I did that actually um, can I do something like this then just trying to collapse the center for a bit more compensation in inverted commas compensation <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there's a pawn. Well, it looks as though I'm around the centre. I've got good. He's only got like, yeah, time. Syrian seventy-seven. Thanks for the game, C says. Syrian seventy-seven. I oh, disconnected Helen oh, oh we've got another disconnect oh, that's interesting all right uh, maybe time for an auto pairing game let's have an auto pairing game I say it wasn't Helen it was he or whatever let's have an auto pairing game for a moment <coughs> I played loads of uh, top players recently one morning two GMs and three IMs just in one morning session of the fierce auto pairing uh, the other day just a few days back uh, incredibly strong um, uh, oh wait, does he want a game Let's try Smith Mora, Syrian seventy seven. So this is a very standard thing now against Smith Mora just to do this declining strategy. Uh right. I'll let him I think take I think <clears throat> Probably now I will take mm. <clears throat> So I like the spearhead pawn, it's quite dangerous. This diagonal might be dangerous on things like bishop c2 and queen d3. Depends what's happening in the center really. Queen e2, bishop c2. Okay. Uh, do I want to keep the queens on? Maybe I do for a moment. Okay, if he plays knight c6, I think taking that would. I don't know how exploitable that weakness would be. I think it's probably playable. Yeah, he has actually played it. Okay. I don't think it's such an exploitable thing. Uh, the d5 square might be nice for a knight. I wonder though I still play something like mm, I don't want to fix that pawn structure. I think I'd rather try and target this guy. Uh, knight e3 f takes it's it's a you know it's it's a pain that knight there on d5 at the moment it's a pain. So yeah I think it'll be interesting to sort of um, see that position uh, where I've got the free pawn islands but he has got that isolated pawn on that one so that is the most aggressive piece black has here ah, this, this is an interesting set of imbalances 
this f file might be interesting as well. In fact, queen f3 is not doing anything at the moment. What about d5? d5 looks as though that's got something going for it. The d5 square. If I have a piece on d5 here, ah. hmm. looks like an aggressive piece. The bishop's actually kind of hemmed in by its own pawn there. If I have this position with a knight on d5, I think that would be, uh, you know, something. Uh, be threatening immediately to take on e7 now and take on c5, but he could take this. I could go rook c7. Uh, okay, there's that. Um, right. I like the rook here. Can I threaten knight f6? Cheeky little threat, knight f6. So rook takes d6. I've seen it. The check and rook f7 though, rook f7, rook d8 is check. looking good. The rook f7 tactic here. For rook d8. Okay, just mating actually with rook d8, I think. Check. Don't have to recapture. Thanks for the game, uh, Siren. So, Hian, did we want to try again? Okay, Hian. Yep. Uh, so, I'll take this pawn. Did you notice Check. I played this? Check. This is interesting now. check maybe he does but I'm 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 hoping this is okay uh, I get some extra accelerated central control now pardon me if I'm calling him a him is it him or her I have no idea actually there's no clue really from finger notes uh, okay, I'm hoping for some central control here. Knight c6 and stuff. Uh, discourage uh, d4. So knight c6, rook f8. Uh, as if I've castled, basically. Keeping control on d4 for a bit uh, longer. Okay, so here, what about queen... Where does the queen want to go? Maybe d6 is somewhere better than b6. I'm not sure about b6. It might not be too hot on b6. Um, might want to play for e5 later. Okay, it's so putting the king back. Yeah, I think e5. Let's open up this bishop. I don't want to give the e4 square in a hurry. Uh, that would be positionally uh, suspect, I think. Um, can I just push as I'm going to play for e4 now? I get the rooks here like this. e4 might be on the cards, but then c4 is weak. I can't win here. Yeah, the light squares are a bit delicate, actually. Yeah, there's some responsibility associated with this... Uh, these pawns. Um, there is. There is. I mean, I can imagine, like, okay, the problem with c4, I play knight d4, I guess. So, although they are a bit delicate, maybe not as delicate as, as I think um, <clears throat> at the moment. Well, after that knight f3, there's knight d4 anytime c4 that's played. Now, now what is the plan oh what is the plan can i do this for c4 i do wonder about this sort of thing because my i i think a good idea might be to play for e4 so c4 d4 e4 and where does that knight go this might be an interesting way of playing things with c4 I'm trying to get d4 to be played yeah, I, I also think that maybe after c4, bishop f5 is hitting d3. 
Okay, so can we do this? C4. Hoping it's a good idea. Okay. Now, if the rook was on here, then knight c4, of course. Um, that might be um, a move in the position, rook d1. Um, all right, knight h6 is introduced. Can I, for the moment, play h5, I wonder? I am just want to say that, you know, much to my home, basically that knight h6, king h7. Is that knight a little bit stranded? There's something also interesting potentially in playing e4. I wonder for knight e5 to d3. I'm tempted by that. D4, I'm losing c4. So maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I'll play that. You know, knight e5 to d3. I'd love that knight on d3 if I can get to that position. Hmm. I'm 1600 UCF with a goal of reaching 2000 in the next couple of years. Red, pump up your rating, someone's reassess your chess and do tactics every day. Any absolute must for improving to read? Um. <clears throat> uh, that is interesting. Hold on a sec. Uh, <laughs> this is quite a committal move. Ah, do do I want to take that or play something else? I'm not going to get my lovely knight, am I? That I dreamt about. Unless I take it, I'm going to take it. There's a possibility of knight e5 to d3. The knight thankfully is held by the bishop and so knight c4s are not like well there's always knight c4 anyway so am i going to get knight d3 in this position mind you the pawns seem a bit fixed now it's not so amazingly clear even though i've got my dreamy knight i can't Check. take with the queen because i've got to hold that d5 Hmm. Oh, another knight's about to be undermined like a previous game. This is becoming a theme of the night, <laughs> so to speak. Um, there is knight f4, and if he takes, 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 bishop c5, knight f1. But I think I'll be overall. Mm, no. No, no, no. I think I might need to find better. Hold on a sec. Queen e5. Bc. What about queen c3? There's knight d5. Queen c1. Might be dangerous for bishop d6 later. The emphasis on might. There's also knight c1 here. Queen e1, bishop c1. I think that's better. I pin this guy. Knight c1. Queen moves. Bishop c5. This is an idea, but. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do this pin like this. So bc, I don't know, knight f4. Or well, there's bishop g4. Bishop g4 might have been good just then actually I don't know it's better that I pin like that so it makes bishop g4 better oh queen h2 poking in for queen h1 looks juicy to me ah uh, yeah 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 that might have been stronger even but I'm going for this queen h1 now if knight f3 queen h1 uh, knight g1 I think I might have bishop g4. 
Let's have a look. This is getting a very pinny situation. Bishop g4. All right, knight shakes g4, there's queen g1. My pieces seem very aggressive. Almost to the extent. Is there some knockout blow here? Knight e1. Oh, it would blow everything <laughs> for sure with queen g6. Blow in the wrong way. <laughs> everything. Um, is there any other move? Look at the forcing moves here. I've talked about creating neglect recently, tactics to create neglect, but that idea one wonders what what squares do I want my opponent to neglect and I have to think about this in the next 10 seconds I can't one thing I do want is this diagonal so hang on Bishop f5 he's not taking right because of Queen g1 oh sorry hang on a sec oh uh, okay time warning oh good time warning um let's go to g2 ah okay let me let me just adjust myself a bit by the way <clears throat> like going a bit too too much to the right uh to speak on a little bit on on, on the left hand side a bit more i don't know how i keep doing that all right that, that was an intense game uh Okay, chess freak. Uh, hello. I should be more to the right soon. <laughs> Bit of a delay on stream. Uh, maybe just just the tad. Tad's there. Tad's the right. Um, <clears throat> Stop B five. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, we have a kind of King's Engine style position. I want to say kind of um <laughs> i mean nothing like the king's engine <laughs> but anyway uh you know bishop e2 bishop g4 a classic plan might be to exchange off the light squared bishops if i ever got a chance to do that yes i'll play it as if it is sort of king's engine ish although knight h5 looks remarkably dangerous I don't want to lose a pawn, but uh, what do I do about h5 exactly? Uh, okay, uh, what do I do about h5? <laughs> no panic. h5 can be taken at any time by my opponents. He wants to collapse my e4 that's his evil plan isn't it all right i'll do this um okay so Knight f5, bishop f2, maybe. Uh, I don't know, is that too dangerous? It's a little bit dangerous. Mm, 
this B4 is going to be a right pain. I don't know how I get time for things like. Yeah, uh, okay, knight a4. It, it is dangerous. Uh... Okay. Um, I don't want to get mated on this a file. That's one thing. Uh, how can I make provisions not to be mated on the a file? Mm, it's looking a bit tricky. I need my king out of here. This is this is already scary. I don't want to lose on time either. It's it's a pretty scary position. Can I try and hit b5? There's bishop a4 here actually. If c6, yeah, I think bishop a4 tactically. Is crazy, but maybe worse. To cross pin, <coughs> c6. I think mean, I'm taking trying on a tactical solution here, which is probably not a good idea. Can I play king d2 to try and make it a good idea? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's it's too scary. I I, uh, I think I've lost I've lost control of this position. It's too scary. Can I get a knight into b3? I'm just worried about a queen a1 check. Now I'm a minute down on the clock. All right, if I stop queen a1 check, can I actually take on b5 without getting obliterated? This is a really strange position, this pin, for such a long time. But I, I wanted to remove Queen A1 as a resource. I've also got a factor in D5 collapsing and the C2 pawn. Yeah, things are scary. Can I actually take this and live to tell the tale? Or not? Can I take this? We're still equal on pawns. I'm 30 seconds down on the clock. This hasn't been my favourite ever King's Engine style game. Uh, it's got to be said so far. Um. Am I taking too many liberties again with Knight A5? Try and get rid of that dangerous bishop. Although I'm losing a pawn now. Getting rid of the bishop pair here, though. That pawn might not be the most decisive element Check. of the position. Uh, let's hold c4 for a moment. Losing another pawn. <sighs> 
This looks very bad. Of course. Hmm. I'm worried about the knight now. Uh, among other things, can I get my king to do something about this? About these pawns over here. blockade my king desperate times um rookie one check uh, rookie seven for knight c6 check is a little tactic and there's also knight c6 but g3 looks like crushing can I take on check f5 I think you might play king d6 though all right I'll take on f because always g3 looks terrifying um stop rookie two still living to tell the tale at the moment so I gotta stop g3 next hold h5 for a laugh maybe play for knight d4 and start pre-moving like crazy time warning check mm. Oh, that was tense. <laughs> All right, a four h five. Hello, hello, a four h five. I'm playing a king's engine now, which I often play with black, sometimes with some success. So we got a mainline bayonet, the dreaded bayonet attack. Sometimes this can slow things down, otherwise I'll expect to get annihilated on the queen side. If I take and work out. I've seen this plan before, marking out G the F4 square. If I can get a knight to F4, opens up the diagonal. If he's going to take, if he doesn't, I'm going to force an issue over here. It would strengthen my D6 perhaps if he had played C takes. Um, this C file, yeah, C6 I don't think is deadly. I think just Bishop C8. Uh, in fact, what's the input? Oh, C6 now wins a piece. Oh, you muppet. <laughs> oh, you muppet. Oh, man. Found a way to lose a piece successfully. When I say you muppet, I'm talking about me, of course, not the opponents. I'm just about <laughs> C6. Just make it more effective than it ever was. Yeah, make C6. You know, just just make it win a bishop. No problem. <laughs> All right. So knight f6, h5. You muppet. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll try and play as if I'm not a piece down now. Fantastic. At least for the pawn, it actually weakened a bit my opponent's pawn chain. There's an upside, there's a silver lining here. The bishop on e5 is not entirely terrible. Unfortunately, h5 does seem to be a sealed in move. Uh, but what I could try and do 
is essentially play that move anyway if I just nudge my king okay the knight's coming to hey I know he wants to go to e6 why can't I take that hey I think he's counter blundered that helps <laughs> yes this is a really high quality game now <laughs> oh boy oh boy <clears throat> uh yeah I'm playing this now because I'm thinking knight g3 I did think it would be terrifying to get a knight in e6 but uh got to make sure that moves kind of legal no it was we've both given each other pieces now it's a great game uh, <laughs> uh yeah can I I, I want to keep this h file open you know so I don't know if this is possible I want to just hold this and then use the h file oh things totally closed up just yet uh, maybe even I can have this rook here and this rook there oh we're going for this stuff again are we all right I'll stop that pesky knight coming into my light squares once again shielding my light squares tactically <laughs> okay I'm I'm still I'm I'm fairly I'm I'm optimistic I think the position's okay now because if I have things like rook h2 check coming and I can switch the rooks like this I can have this one there uh, maybe even start munching some pawns <clears throat> ah oh then there's check check okay isn't that almost f3 well, i don't need to do that i can i, I think i check. should go for this check and maybe take this off it's two connected past pawns essentially here so i just need to just play with those i think i can stop e5 check or, check so i thought i think he's amazing that isn't he rookie three mate oh king c5 but then there's rook c3 mate that's mate isn't that yeah okay levian's pawn we haven't seen before hello levian's pawn uh thanks for the game there um by the way sorry i should have said thanks again <laughs> levian's pawn <clears throat> Uh -huh. yes that was a fun one <laughs> exchanging blunders that's funny uh, but that's the fun of blitz sometimes there's a lot more blunders to be seen uh, than even normal uh, You know, I'm not sure about this. Ah, uh, I was wondering CD doesn't look right. But anyway. I've seen vaguely a plan that, you know, in, in Nigel Short's games, Rook B5, C4, I think. One or two or other games. Okay, Knight E5, I'm not sure I'm getting anything. Don't know. I don't know. I don't like this solid stuff. But he's kind of maybe loosened his position a bit. Of course, I can't take here because of bishop h2 winning the queen there. But um, I could move my king first. 
or I could just wait till later or I could play I think ah he's gonna line up like this is g3 possible now rookie eight rookie one rookie two rookie two bishop should be three I don't want to play a move like g3 Bishop g5, queen d6, bishop h4, bishop f3, bishop g3 hits the queen, queen moves, bishop f3 would be a cozy position. Queen d6, bishop h4, bishop f3, bishop g3. Unless he's got anything there. I'm going to try that. I'm going to push his queen exactly where he wants that queen. I'm hoping to get away with this tactically, this little maneuver. You see this sometimes in French defences. It's kind of bishop coming around. I'm hoping. Eh, if I can live to tell the tale here, bishop h4, bishop f3, bishop g3. It's not the sort of thing I usually do, actually, I must say. <laughs> but I don't know how to solve that problem because it seems as though g3 was insufficient on rookie eight, rookie one, rookie two, rookie two, bishop f3. I mean, g3 positioning is just, I don't want to weaken light squares. I don't want to weaken squares around my king full stop. This is just in time defense. Bishop g3. Right, I haven't weakened myself too much. That's the good news. Set the double pawns, okay. But you know, d5 is a bit isolated here. d5 is a little bit isolated. <clears throat> okay, have we got 95 or not? looks good I mean I think this looks all right this position uh, maybe you know knight c6 I think I just want to have the e-file here once I have the e-file I'm not worried too much about c3 you know the back row's weak can I get onto this back row it was always rookie eight to deflect the queen anyway oh the back row queen h Queen here, g6. Is that achieving anything, this position? It's a weakness. Check. 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 You can't play queen g6. It's not a fantastic weakness to write home well. Controlling the file, that's, that's what I got at the moment. Not much to show. But it was a super solid opening. I don't know if queen e5 is that slight edge in that rook and pawn ending. Or is, am I swapping d5 for c3? Oh, I suggest the magic start calculating this. Start calculating rook c7, queen e5, queen e5, rook e5, rook c3, rook d5. You can throw in check, we play rook c2. My rook's stuck on d5. All right, all right, all right. Now this changes the picture. I think f6 is now an issue after his, his move. f6 is an issue, potentially. Well, there's other stuff going on now. Hang on, Queen C7 pushes Rook a little bit on the passive side. It hits F6 and D5. Goes Rook F7, Queen D5, Queen C3. What have I got to show? Nothing. Queen 
It looks a little bit passive to play rook f7. Um, if I undouble the pawns, I think. I, ah, can't make progress here. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let's take stock again. Take stock. <clears throat> what do I want to do? I do I want to bring the king into the game slightly? F4 and king F2. Uh, is there any point to that? Um, here? Mm, let's do this. Maybe G4, F5 is is an idea i think bringing the king into the game he could just be going after my a pawn all right he can't immediately hit that on a on the diagonal so i yeah and he's getting short on time here this is going to be interesting g4 g5 just trying to shred this diagonal open it up not shred it's a bit too uh uh excited uh g4 g5 uh-huh g5 trying to open this diagonal check 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 finally I'm getting a tiny advantage in the room pawn in I believe if he takes then so bring my king up Check. Let's make sure I'm not getting mated with G5. Yeah, interesting game. Okay. Uh, Lucanian. Have we played Lucanian? Let me check my history. Um, We played the hidden twice already. Oh no, one was on the board. So we haven't played uh, Lucanian. Hello. <clears throat> we play another King's Engine. It's another King's Engine defense. Simish variation. Try this gambit out. He's refusing that. So, this position I've seen before, and I think it's fascinating a little bit. Oh, there's Knight C4. Weakness of the last move. There's Knight C4. This could be bad news because the dark squares didn't want to become weaker in this particular opening. This is the last opening you want your dark squares to be even weaker. So I'll energetically try and open up things now. I'm trying to open up the center. about f takes maybe bishop takes is, is okay uh, well I'm not too concerned with this amazing bishop I have about this h file attack potentially amazing uh, bishop on g7 
Yes, it looks I'm happy bunny here because we've got congestion issues. We've got King in the center. We've got this marvelous bishop, but okay. <clears throat> Rook c8. Is that doing anything? Rook c8. Pfft. Yeah. Rook c2. If he takes. Rook c2 gives rook queen d2. Maybe bishop c3 is um, interference tactic. So still rook c2 with bishop c3 as an interference on d2. And then queen d2 would be mating. This looks very bad for king safety. If I've really got bishop c3 winning the queen. Wow, I can just take that. Yeah, bishop c3 still on, knight c3, queen d2. <clears throat> There's an interference tactic. Thanks for the game, Canyon. Okay, uh, there's no more unique challenges. Uh, okay, should we take an auto pairing game? Uh, An auto pairing game. Best books to read. Okay, an FM. Another King's Engine. We're going to have endless King's Engines tonight. Well, <laughs> has anyone else got recommendations for books to read? I'm, I'm not entirely. Uh, unfortunately, I never have time to read uh, that much. Uh, one of my favourite authors, I can tell you, is Chernev, though. Any books I've read of Chernev, I've really enjoyed. Uh, like, Most Instructive Games of Chess Ever Played is one of his lesser-known books. So I think finding an author you enjoy is, is interesting. Hmm. I think I'd rather give up the exchange if he wants my uh, rook. I'll play for an attack later, I hope. This could be a fictional attack, of course. for this attack to do something as I'm pretty dead here I'm trying to open up these dark squares if I can Actually, you know, I should have probably considered knight h5 to f4 <clears throat> as well. 
This pin could be nasty. Oh, we'll play it here. Wonder if he should be a little bit concerned about H three. I'm taking check. Mm, Rook H one is the right pain, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm just wondering about G2 being useful at some point. G2, bishop e3 is bishop h6. What is this about? Oh, hang on, it's bishop d4 and bishop h2. He's got these pawns though. Maybe it's about those pawns. He's got six million pawns actually. Oh dear. <clears throat> Apart from that, everything's fine having two bishops. how much I can blockade everything. Probability of blockade looks nearly zero right now. <clears throat> Check. I do this to skewer these guys. He's going to notice that, isn't he? Pretty sure I'm getting run over here. Yes, I am, and this is some stalemate trick. This looks pretty doomed. Check. Check. 
and this is where I'm doomed I think well I was already <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a stalemate somehow mm. yeah that bishop h2 I missed uh, so yeah I think that's pretty much over uh okay uh no other unique challenge at the moment let's take another water pairing plunge the water pairing <clears throat> that was unfortunate <laughs> <clears throat> okay oh tough on the water pairing tough Have a quick look. So that was bayonet attack gone wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> so red baron. Let's uh, play maybe a scotch game. Play this line. Try to chase that knight there. Grab this pin. Unpin. Well, he was supposed to move the knight because I'd unpinned. I'm sure he was supposed to move the knight there. But the question remains about this possession because it's not so trivial. Maybe I, I've got f5 and f e4, bishop b2. Oh, there was also f6 threatens. All right, bishop b2 here, just to make sure I'm not losing the rook. Now, this is good news, really. I think he played too quickly to lose that piece. Yeah. So, queen f5, queen h4, I don't think is too deadly. Okay, let's try and develop some pieces. Maybe rook f3 to g3 is aggressive. I think it's hard for him to evict that queen at the moment. And that gives me a lovely e4 square. Oh, can I threaten bishop a3? Yeah. Pick up an exchange. Oh, thanks for the game, Red Baron. <clears throat> Bowman's. Bowman's. Should we play a French defense? Now, I usually do badly from this position. I'll play f5, actually, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's scary sometimes, this sort of thing. Okay. Maybe this is okay with e5. Not taking, because he's always got bishop h7, but e5 here. I'm hoping bishop g5, queen f7. Hang on, hang on, it's queen f2. If he's too quick to take that, I've got queen f2. This is good news in a way, because maybe I've got bishop g4. Maybe bishop e2 is on d5, though. Can I play bishop e6? <clears throat> Hmm. 
But I take on F3, turn F3. Can I can I win that pawn without being Check. exterminated? What am I imagining this? One danger is this check. If I played rook F8, ah, it's protected. There's no bishop H7. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back. D4, a nice pawn for a moment. Because he got bishop c4. I've given him bishop c4 as a resource. It is check. Um, can I go here? For bishop d5. I wonder about knight e5 to f3. Uh, Okay, what's he doing with these rooks? Bishop c5? Pawning to potentially f2. Might be handy to do this. Knight e5 for f3 looks very handy and juicy. So I keep saying that word juicy tonight. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's, I just have it as an expression. I don't know. I, I get carried away with positions. It's sometimes. Uh, okay. Thanks for the game. Bowman's. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so another five minute auto pairing. Uh, okay. Another five minute water pairing. So it's it's okay recently on the water pairing. Uh, two, three, one, seven. That was an interesting game. Uh, quick post mortem or something. Um, while we're waiting. Or not. Mm, maybe not. Angelo SM, what's that flag? Fun with flags. Angola. So if you're a fan of Big Bang Theory and want fun with flags, it's Angola. Okay, <laughs> the flag of tonight is Angola. <laughs> There's a new series of Big Bang Theory. I don't know if you're, anyone's into that. I I watched uh, the past ones on Netflix. We're gonna have this line again. This is getting very topical. I've never really played this before. I've witnessed it in last games, but yeah, I've started analysing it and I think this is needed to try and force this. So we go into this self pin, which looks absurd. And now the nudge move is Queen F2 to unpin and don't tell me he's going to blunder a piece again. That would be funny uh so queen f2 is the nudging move because i've unpinned b3 makes way for bishop b2 the mechanics are interesting of this scotch variation um but it also makes way for potentially bishop a3 and knight c3 where there was a crushing game recently in this um which i've forgotten his name <laughs> but anyway ah oh, this is interesting can't I just do a3 here this also gives a2 for the rook you know if there's anything like f6 a takes f takes I want to rook a2 if, if I didn't have bishop b2 I mean but a3 here does seem to be winning a piece unless I'm imagining it No. Maybe yes. Actually, I've 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 just realised something about this. Have I fallen into a horrible trap? I have, haven't I? I, for, 
I, I need to know this line. <laughs> I've fallen into a horrible trap. Check. Another night C2, yeah. I'm just losing the exchange. I'm going to have to start playing quickly now. <laughs> In a lost position. Oh, I need to look this up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I've just fallen victim to a horrible trap. I might have some compensation with the bishop pet on on dark squares, I hope. I should know that. I'm going to be two pawns down as well. Quite a lot of damage. Three pawns down. Hope for a miracle. Ah, ah. Oh God. Is this getting worse? Hang on, hang on. I'm not necessarily material down. I've just realized something about this position. I've got four pieces. <laughs> the opponent's got three. Maybe I shouldn't be entirely terminally depressed because I'm not even sure I'm material down now. Hold on a sec. Although there does appear to be a lot of pressure. Can't take without losing d3. Is that bishop g5 without losing everything? Try and play for bishop g5. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I won the piece originally, then I trapped the knight. So that's two pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might not be completely lost. I need to check this maybe after. Now he's fractured all his pawns, actually. If I'm if I try and avoid losing a minor piece here, there might actually be some fun to be had if I can avoid losing a minor piece. Okay, I don't want to get too short on time. Okay, can I do this? pawns rook g2 bishop c3 
when I keep an eye on his king's side for a counter attack in my dreams I haven't got rook f1 available rook at a1 rook e2 rook king c2 it's got bishop b7 to e4 potentially can I do this for a moment right I'll stop that entry point because otherwise rook e2 look dangerous if I can win a7 uh, rook b8 king c1 is starting Check. to look scary I've got b1 covering there so there's no rook b1 at the moment right can I do this for rook c7 not that my piece is all pretty huddled I was going to play bishop e2, that's nice. To which I can't see any defense. This one, for king c2, it's not much of a defense. pretty much tied down now if I get his rook off the back row I can move the knight oh the c2 now right Jeez, man, this ah, it seems impossible to play this game in that variation. Oh, jeez, now I'm Time. losing that one. Check. Crikey. Oh geez, let's have a look at that opening. I I should I think I should know this a bit more. Yeah, I think knight b4 is a kind of dangerous. A3, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Check. Check. Oh, hang on. This position. Apparently KF2. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've even seen some analysis on this position recently. I think there's a check. problem with the whole thing here. Bishop B2. There's no check. If I played to F2, there's no check. This is so much more pleasant, I think, this position than one I had. If we look at what I had, I moved the king the wrong way. It seemed more intuitive to go for the knight, but you have to go with bishop b2. I'm just Check. worse after I think this. Check. This is just worse. Yeah, it's just very difficult to play. Black's just better there. Yeah, I, I think I have to bear that in mind. For next time if that line could come up quite easily that's a shame that's a shame i didn't know that better ah i should have known that a bit better george i am all right we've had this line before i've had this line before against him he's a specialist in this this thing although this looks different can I weaken some squares? Because there's method in the madness, I think, I hope. But I don't want his knight coming to f5. 
Something like this, it's crazy, but maybe it's okay. Light squares, if nothing else, just to undermine light squares. I think. Well, he's not going to castle over there, probably, anyway. So, if I can just try and undermine him on the light squares. Fair enough with this pawn here. I don't mind that at the moment. Let's hit the knight. I get rid of his bishop because he's got some dark square weaknesses potentially. Ah, oh, I thought maybe he played c3. He played c3 actually instead. Knight b6. Okay, I'll take this guy off because it's a pretty strong knight. Strange position, really. It's out of a strange opening. It's the knight's too good. Check. How is this rook and pawn ending? I wonder if this is a kind of dislocated pawn. If I take the queens off, I think it could Check. be a weakness. Actually, I'm hoping rook a is a weakness. Like rook c5, maybe just double on it laterally. Rook c5, rook h8. Uh, he's got g4 in the meantime and stuff. <clears throat> the rook's not getting trapped there, right? Well, it's, it is getting precarious. Um, mysterious rook move. I'm preparing to double. <laughs> On a5, he's always got e5. Might not be such a big deal to do this. The rook would be stranded after e5 anyway, and he could actually get his king move to e4 and win d4. Okay, is he gonna let me undouble here? Is that a weak pawn? We'll be undoubling all our pawns. <sighs> yes, b7 is a problem, okay. Prepare rook d7. If you ever take someone a5, he doubles rook d7. Am I stuck for a plan? Have I got g5 coming up for g takes? Just a fraction of the pawns. Rook h4, rook f1, rook g4, for rook g2. Possibly. f5, g4, e5. It's got potential pass pawn there. f6 instead, e5 takes, rook e5. I don't know about this g5, it gives him some mobility. If his rooks are there, I don't mind playing g5. I forgot rook d7. Rook b1, rook d7. Hang on a sec. Okay, so g5 here. Is it worth a punt? Can I play f6 or g4 is needed? I think g4 might be needed. I've given him some mobility. I don't want him coming to g4 of his king. 
keep control of key squares here if I can. The rook's not doing anything for a moment. This one comes back. King could come out to e5. Do I want to keep doubled? Might be safer in some respects. Because I can't see any way a rook can hit c5 here. If I took, then c5 and rook c4 later. So I'm wondering this might actually be safer. How does a rook hit c5? Alright, I'll protect this one. Okay, we have this. So he's tying me down. I use this one. Is he gonna do that? It's getting a bit short on time. <clears throat> Looking forward to this one, this guy. Check. I got this guy two steps away. A little tank tank. <laughs> Took down the IM. He's very dangerous sometimes in his opening. Max Happy. Um, Max Happy. I don't think we've played Max Happy. This evening. That's a nice scenic avatar. Whew. So we have an, another very popular variation in the Smith Mora. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel like I already misplayed this. I'm wondering what is this position? <laughs> Have I just misplayed it? Maybe bishop c2 and queen e4 is crude. Or c4, just try and do something with these bishops. Bishop c2, queen e4, there's always f5. Okay, let's put the queen here anyway. 
it hasn't got f5 at the moment uh, so bishop c2 is he going to do a weakness g6 uh, okay so interesting does he play g6 I wonder queen h4 on g6 I like the squares if he plays g6 a little bit more g6 queen h4 going into f6 or hitting h6 no queen e6 here there's queen h6 here there's bishop f5 check this can't be good oh there's queen f7 i guess ah queen c6 rook f7 does anything work for him rook f7 does he have to play rook f7 there's bishop f5 all right here there's queen h6 anything stronger when you see a strong move as they say i think i'm happy with the position after queen h5 here for knight g5 check Well, I, sh I guess I shouldn't pre-move that, but because actually he's got queen f7, it might not be uh, so clever. Let's hold c4. Well, knight g5. Yeah, he's got queen c4 potentially. Queen c4. Has he really? Bishop b3, queen b3, knight g5. Right, if we have this position, oh, there's queen g6. This could go really pear shaped very quickly. Maybe I should have taken the queens off. Queen F oh Queen F four. Currently a pawn up. Currently the dark squares look okay. Bishop F six. annoying I've got no good square for the Queen I can only think Queen g3 Bishop d6 knight e5 no square for the queen here Pfft. if he plays f4 he's weakening that diagonal so i'm wondering queen g3 so bishop e7 queen g3 bishop d6 knight e5 take it from there i think knight takes knight takes, takes i don't know Control E5 now. Hmm. There's nothing that exotic, is there? Queen F4, Bishop D6. I'm afraid there's nothing too exotic about this. So what I mentioned before, ninety five, just try and keep things going. Check. 
It's on blockade. Ooh, this is a pain, isn't it? Alright, what about Queen G5, Bishop H5, Bishop G6? That's a plan. Oh, he's going to be on G2 if I'm not careful. Let's hold D5 for a moment. Oh, it's Bishop F2. Oh, things are getting a bit strange. Well, I'll try for this plan. Um, Nope, he's pushing me around a lot. I'll take this. Check. Doesn't e e six doesn't do anything. I take it opens up the rook so I'll play it anyway I'm hoping it does something opens up this rook maybe now the diagonal is also interesting so queen e5 is interesting because then the, the bishops are skewered oh god not too many moves for the queen uh, is this serious am I forced to play that check Check. This is pre move time. It's like, oh, this is really dangerous. This didn't go to plan. <clears throat> Say the least. Time warning. I believe it. I <laughs> believe it. Oh well, on that catastrophic note. Uh, I think I think we've got to end it here, guys, anyway. Uh. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Uh it's it was a bit of fun anyway. Uh, uh I think we'll end it on that bad note. <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh that's that's how it goes. It's a bit of a mad time scramble. So Max Happy is pretty dangerous even at bullets, it seems. So his rating at bullet is... Mm, okay. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah, okay. So anyway, thanks for coming. And uh, I'll lick my wounds now after that. And uh, I know there's some interesting games anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let's say... Uh, I think we're at 11 p.m. So, I uh, just want to get confirmation. Uh, I hope it was fun overall. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, see you next week. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy your chess. Enjoy everything if you can. And uh, that's great. All right. Cheers then. <laughs>